To put our file upload script into action, load the script file handling uploading simple upload into a blank code pane and save it as upload test.php. Here's our form that allows the user to upload a file. The action, which is a post action, is the same as the form name, upload test.php, and the most important critical encoding type, multipart slash form data. We also have the input tag of type file, which renders the browse dialog for the user. And this is called user file, which is important as the first parameter when we use the dollar files associative array. When the form field of type submit is clicked, that's the upload file button, the field upload activated is set to the value 1, and the post in the form sends the form back to the same script, so the script runs again. This time, upload activated being set to 1 allows the main body of the upload action to be executed. As we said earlier, we set the upload file name to the directory we choose, which is going to be the images folder, concatenated with the PHP function base name of the uploaded file, which simply strips away the directory component of the file that's uploaded. We then use the PHP function move uploaded file to move the temporary file that's uploaded to the upload file, which is the path name and file name of where we want it to be saved. We make sure the permissions are set to read and write to the file, and then we simply report that the file was uploaded successfully and display the file on the browser. If anything fails, we report a file upload error. If we now go to the browser and refresh the demo folder and find the file upload test.php, we're presented with the browse dialog. Recall that earlier we uploaded from the resources menu on the training site the example images and saved them in a folder called example images on the desktop. Let's see if we can find one. There we are in the desktop, folder example images, double click on that, and choose one of the files. Click upload file. And it tells us the file is valid and was successfully uploaded. The image uploaded was images firefox.png and it's displayed the image. Let's just double check that in our images folder. And there we are, firefox.png. Let's try another one. And it successfully uploaded this file. Looking at the images folder, we'll delete that file we just uploaded and change the value of the maximum file upload 200 kilobytes and save the upload test. Let's go back to the forms folder, refresh it, click the upload test, browse for the file, try to upload the large file, click upload, and it tells us file upload error. That's because if we look at this and choose the details menu here, we can see that that file, TM logo, was more than 200k large, so it failed at the form stage and so it couldn't move the temporary file to the new file and therefore reported file upload error. One of the most important things to do when you're allowing users to upload files is to restrict the type and the size of the files you can upload. Load the snippet uploading restrict files and save it as restrictedfiles.php in the demo folder. This is similar to the last example in that we still have the form to upload the file, but it simply puts the file to be uploaded through a few more tests. We start off by saying set the file size variable equal to the dollar files user file, because of course that is the file handle, and the second parameter of that associative array is size. And if the file size is greater than some predetermined max file size, in this case 
300,000 bytes. We report error too large and set the variable file size OK to false. For file type, we can create a whitelist. So we're going to allow the user to upload JPEG, PNG, and .gif files. And for each element of the whitelist as file, if the regex match to user file name is true, then set the variable file type OK to true. And then if file type is OK and file size is OK, go ahead with the upload as we did before. Let's see that in practice. Before we do, we'll just change max file size to 200 kilobytes because we know that we do have a file here that's greater than that. Let's run restricted files from the demo menu, browse, the desktop, example images. And let's try loading that large file again and we get the error file too large message. If we go to a different directory and upload a file that's a .fcs file and try to upload that, we get error invalid file type. But apart from that, it works exactly the same way as our previous script and does allow us to upload these PNG files or .gifs or .jpegs.